I'm 23 years old, and I still don't understand what it is that people do. What? Just thinking that you're shady. It's a very epic film. It spans 18 years of Cherry's life. And it's ultimately a modern, tragic love story. I take all the beautiful things to heart till I about die from it. It's kind of a role of a lifetime. This character explores so many different avenues of life. You have a romantic film that leads into a war film that leads to a drug film. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's going to happen. And it's a nightmare. We have a very passionate connection to our hometown of Cleveland. And the locations of the book were specific to areas that Anthony and I grew up in. We had very similar upbringings with extremely different outcomes. The city is really a character. So what makes a joker like you want to join the United States Army for? Sense of purpose. We wanted to try to convey as best as we could the experience of being in Iraq. With Joe and Anthony, they're constantly pushing you to go the extra mile. We made a decision to sit in longer takes with him, sitting with someone who is ill-prepared for death and destruction on a scale uh, that he's never seen before. There's so many moving parts. We're so lucky we've got the crew to be able to put the moving parts in the right place. Prepping this movie, we talked about it as jazz. There's a huge process of discovery. We're always trying to find the magic in any scene that really brings the story out. Working with the Russo brothers has been one of the best experiences of my life. Everything about this film, the stars have just aligned and it's just been such a wonderful time. And a lot of that is down to the way the Russos hold themselves on set. We love this idea of sharing the experience with everyone. And this entire group produced something I think that we're all very proud of. Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm really happy you're here. Why is that? Because I like you a lot. You want to go for a walk? We meet Cherry, and he's a kid who's having a hard time, just doesn't really know why he feels the way he feels. And he meets this wonderful lady called Emily. Cherry is the first time Emily has ever experienced love. It's just pheromones playing tricks on people. I love you. She's finally escaped an abusive home. It forces her to face her demons in a way that causes her to self-destruct. I'm leaving for good at the end of the semester. Please tell me that you're kidding. This isn't funny. Why would I be kidding you? She broke your heart. I like him. She is the one that leaves him, and he goes into this spiral, and he joins the military. <laughs> but when they come back together, they don't come back together for the right reasons. When he comes back from Iraq, Tom and I completely destroy our characters' lives. Get on the ground! He doesn't really know what to do without her, and he doesn't really know how to live life with her. We don't shy away from the negative aspects of this type of love. I'm 23 years old, and... Sometimes I wonder if life was wasted on me. I take all the beautiful things to heart till I about die from it. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing. Hey, I'm really happy you're here. Why is that? Because I like you. But there never seems to be enough time to do. You're it for me. I feel the same way. I joined the army. Why would you do that? Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. <laughs> and it's a nightmare. <laughs> My 
My one true accomplishment was not dying. I have this noise in my head. It'll stop. One day it'll go quiet. I don't imagine that anyone goes in for a robbery if they're not in some kind of desperation. I've been at this a while now, and it's no secret what my face looks like. Get on the ground! The one thing about robbing banks is you're mostly robbing women, so the last thing you want to be is rude. Ma'am, it's nothing personal. We're gonna make it through this. I love you. Can you look back to when you met the one you loved the most? And remember exactly how it was? What you saw in her that made you say yes. This is what I came here for. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. And it's a nightmare.